right, we are back with a well-known series on the channel known as Budget Cuts. We are back with Budget Cuts. If you do not exactly know what Budget Cuts is, because, you know, you can't really easily think of what Budget Cuts actually is by just the name title, but basically it's pack squads, no money spent. So we don't spend any money on this account, and we only take cards that come out of a pack. So any packs in the game, they could be a face of the franchise, if they come out of the pack, they could be anything. Anything that comes from a pack is going on the team. We do have Harrison Bader on the team right now. He will be replaced ASAP. He didn't come from a pack, so uh, that ain't going to happen. Max Freed, on the other hand, did come from the tutorial pack, so we will be using him. Um, but yeah, he'll probably be replaced because I did get a good amount of packs for the first video. The first video, we got to do a 50 bundle. Got to do a 50 bundle. Now, in the grinding of me getting a 50 bundle... We also got all these packs right here. We got an AL West where we can get a Mike Trout or a Seager. Oh, and, and we also got an NL West, which is pretty damn good in itself. So we're going to open those two packs. We're also going to get these flashbacks and legends. These actually might be opened at the end, just so I know what like slots I still have to fill. Uh, these two. Mm, not really, but we'll, we'll leave them. We also got a chase pack, which hopefully we can get pools. That'd be fucking great. Um, but yeah, basically how this series works, I'll tell you this right now. I'll probably cut this in before the pack ex uh, explanation but basically we open packs every start of the video at the start of the video we open whatever packs i've earned over time usually whatever headliners i can buy usually anything i can get my hands on um and then after we open the packs we upgrade the team with whatever we got and then we hop into a rank game so we will do a rank game in this video why not uh we got 54 packs chase pack all that stuff we should be able to play a rank game with the, a team after that so, uh, yeah, let's get into our packs. 54 packs, chase packs. If you do not know, I have a 1 in 2 chance. You have a 50% chance of pulling a diamond. That's really fucking good. And packs have been pretty good for me so far. So, we'll see how this account goes. We start with a diamond equipment that goes for 16k. Okay, that's pretty damn good, actually. That helps me out. I'll put it up for 24,000. We'll see if it sells. It probably won't. I'll probably have to quick sell it, but we'll see. So on the first pack, we already pulled the diamond. It was diamond equipment, but still pretty, pretty damn good. Now, I mean, if we were to be able to complete a collection by just simply pulling packs, I still can't figure out if I want to allow using them or not. I said they have to originate from packs, right? So I don't really know if I want to allow that, no matter what. I feel like I'd rather just stick with straight out of packs. Makes the, it makes the team a bit different compared to how it normally would be. Alright, nothing there. If it's a silver, I'll add it to the team. Otherwise, I won't bother. I'm glad, though, that we're at least guaranteed two diamonds from the two, uh... The two face of the franchise packs. Hopefully, they work out. Hopefully, we get who we want. Oh, Granky? I fuck with that. We get a gold. Our first gold's Aussie Albies. Oh my god, that's a good fucking first gold. He's going to be a future diamond this year, too. That is a really good gold pull. No, it's just a bat. Carlos Carrasco. Doesn't really make it to the rotation. Stubs. I'll take it. Another gold. We get Diego Castillo. I will take that for the bullpen. Bullpen does not look good. We need the upgrades. Another gold. You Darvish. I will take that for the rotation. There goes Patrick Sandoval. Diamond Stadium. Old Texas. Okay. We'll hold on to it. Why not? So got 30 more. Randall Gritschuk. I'll put him on the bench because he'd have to go into a secondary. We'll figure that out later. Oh, 
Oh, it's Bryson Stott, no wonder. All right, halfway through. No diamond pole, but we did get like um, a diamond stadium and diamond equipment. All right, yet again, we'll put him on the bench. Mess with that when we have to. Another gold, a roll this Chapman. We're getting really good gold pulls. No doubt about that. Another gold. Oh my god, Devin Williams. Okay. Bullpen's looking really good now. We got three solid golds in there. Another gold. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. We're getting a lot of gold pulls. Another gold, Austin Riley. Put him over at third base. All right, 16 more. Adam Wainwright, definitely going into the rotation for Severino. Mike Zanino, that is a good catcher pickup. Got a ton of pop. Another goal, Jack Flaherty. My God, okay. I'll take out Kluber over Granky. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. All right, we're running low on packs at this point. We could pull a diamond over Chase. At the end of the day, we've gotten a ton of gold pulls. So we've gotten a good amount of upgrades. I would like to finish with a diamond, but I wouldn't be too upset with not getting one. I'd just like to hope, hopefully at least get one from the chase. And we clutch up with a diamond pull. And it's possibly a good one too. Oh my fucking god. Are you fucking kidding me? First diamond pull in this account is Trey Turner. Wow, that is a really fucking good pull. Holy shit. Okay. Trey Turner added to the team in the first video. We already have a 90 overall on the team from just the packs alone. From just the standards. Wow. That's up there, man. That's up there for pulls. He's 100k. Budget cuts off to a good start. <gasps> okay, it's a purple. I I'm, I don't care. I don't care. Okay, who are you going to be, though? Don't be up to me. We just pulled a second baseman. And then we get another one. All right, we're going to have to figure out who goes where. Trey's probably going to shortstop. Wow. Okay. Two quick diamond pulls just like that. Second one, not so great, but... Definitely still a huge upgrade to the team. Jordan Hicks actually won this bullpen. He throws heat. Last pack. Get nothing. All right, chase pack. Can we walk away with a diamond in the chase pack? We cannot. We get Matt Barnes. All right, we'll add him to the bullpen. All right, now it's up to these to see how we take out of these. See if we can get lucky. See if we can get who we want. I would like Mike Trout here. I'm getting the same fucking guy I got on my main account. Kyle Tucker. I don't mind him. It's just the same dude. Really? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, do we have anybody in his position? No, we actually don't. Whatever they do here, don't give me Cronenworth. Don't give me the same guy. Especially a second baseman. This is stupid. Two different accounts, both get the exact same cards. I don't even know what to say about that. That's so weird. 
Okay, let's go mess with the team. Oh, sorry, he's a main shortstop. Oh my god, but we have you. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? Do we put him in center? He has got much of an arm, but you don't usually use that in center. That speed would be huge in center field. So that he can go to shortstop. You can play second. And Cronenworth can play first. Oh, you can play first. Get the fuck over there. His fielding's much better. Oh, those arms not good. No, I'd rather have that 59 fielding over there just so I can still have an arm right there. They both don't have an arm, though. Might be seeing a lot of infield singles against this team. Wow, this is really good, though. For the first damn video, for like the first amount of packs, we walked out with a Cronenworth, a Kyle Tucker, a Jose Altuve, and a Trey Turner. Four diamonds. Two of them guaranteed, but still. And we still got more packs to open. I don't really know what to take. Probably going to take Mo. Oh, and who? Maybe Killebrew with that hitting against lefties. Could take this guy, put him in left. He just, he pretty much, ah, uh, he'd be worse. He'd be worse, worse than Gurriel on the field. I don't know. Who's in this pack? Bunch of starters. Rob Dibble. Mitch Gossage. Okay, we're going to take Mo here. Generico wouldn't be a bad option. I'm going to take Killebrew. He's got the best bat. Chris has got the best bat. We're going to put him on the bench. Let's take out Brad Hand. Brad Hand sucks. Don't want him. Um, probably going to take Scott Casimir here for the rotation. Sure. Then we'll take Paul Canerico. Yeah. This looks like a throwaway pick. Eh, Jim. Get a lefty in the bench. Uh, there goes Granky. Kind of wanted him to stay, but what can you do? Uh, we'll take Aaron Sanchez to finish the rotation with golds. He probably wouldn't even stay, though. Guess I'll just take Trammel. Take Michael Young. Okay, Tom Glavin I don't want. I'll take Burnett. Burnett's solid. Then I'll take Dibble. And then I'll take Gossage. And then actually Max Free can just come out. And then we'll do. Do I like Tom Seaver? Not really. I don't like Tom Glavin though either. Or not Tom Glavin, John Smalls. Uh what's my outfield? Kyle Tucker, Troy Turner, and Lur Yeah, no, you're not making it. I'll just take you, I guess. I'm Troy Gloves, huh? Kind of mid. Ralph Kinder's got good power against the righties. Let's take you. We'll take Brian Wilson for the bullpen. Finish it off with golds. Put you in the bench. Oh, you're much better than Aaron Sanchez, actually. Only thing that's worse is a bit less hit for nine. Control and velocity is a bit down. Hippernet's not down by much, and it's earlier, so sure. Wow. Okay, so our team doesn't have a single silver on it anymore. Except for Zanino, which he's insane. Alright, well, let's get into a game with this team. This is really fucking good. Alright, see what we're facing. We are against... What, what can I say? What are you what are you doing going into a ranked seasons game with that team? Like what are you What are you doing? It's a good first swing actually. That's a good swing. He might be a solid player, maybe. But it seems like kind of uh, got the odds against him. Oh no, you're running, you idiot. Why would you run there? 
Trey Turner, it's a perfect, perfect in his first AB. All right, there we go. Do I steal with him first pitch? Yeah, of course. Trey? It's an 88 fastball. What the fuck? He was so slow. That was 99 speed. Okay. What the fuck? And then that's it. Bro, this game is insane. This is... Hitting is so weird right now. Just keep on throwing sinkers inside. He chases it, pops up. Okay, dude. I just power swung right there for some weird reason. Worked out though. I got a hit. Oh my god. This is insane. I don't know how the fuck I'm not hitting. Alright. We're through the fourth. Now we got a hit in the fourth. And we gotta stop being on the same fucking hit counter as him. There we go, Tucker with the hit. Oh, there we go. That's probably a two-run shot by Altuve. Yep. Finally scored some goddamn runs. No, oh, I think the guy quit. All it took was for us to score a run at some given point, and the guy be like, okay, there's no point. There we go. He quits. We take the W. And we also get a pack. Look at that. One standard pack. All right, we'll open whatever packs we have next video. But uh, yeah, Asia Burnett does solid. Four innings, no runs given up, only 1K. That's just been the thing. Uh, Trey Turner goes one for two. Uh, with a caught st with a caught stealing. Yeah, he got. Fucking Christ. What stats? Ninety nine speed, ninety two stealing, and ninety nine base running aggressiveness. I don't know if that makes him hustle more, but uh, yeah, ninety nine speed with ninety two stealing should fucking make it on an eighty eight fastball by Alec Mills. And uh, Ryan Jeffers actually might be a pretty solid fielding catcher. Is he on the Twins? What team is Ryan Jeffers on? Yeah. He has a 78 arm. I mean, that's... What the fuck, dude? No. Still, shouldn't make that throw. It's ridiculous by that much, too. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit thumbs up button. Subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.